This programme contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the outset and throughout. I thought I'd get you a vagina. Cheers. So, I tell you I'm not going to put anyone else and get a portable fanny. Cheers. Cheers, Don. That's wicked. Hi, Elsie. It's a bit disrespectful, I'm not going to lie. What? It's disrespectful as fuck. How is it? It's funny. Well, this is awkward. I got it because I felt bad because I was saying I wasn't going to have sex with you, so I thought it was a nice... Holly needs to realise I've done all this effort and done all this hard work just to prove I like her, and the way she repays is giving us a fake fanny. Fuck that. I'm getting ready for work and I'm really excited that it's with Kyle. It's a perfect opportunity to clear this whole fake fanny business off. I think it's the first time I've ever lived with a bird and got on with her really well at the same time. Can't remember ever, ever getting on with a bird. I'm with you, Dana. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm so glad that me and Kyle have cleared the air. The King of Hearts has got his tart back. Things are going really, really well with me and Kyle at the minute, and it just seems quite surreal, and I think he actually feels the same. Promise you never heard. I would. I feel like me and Kyle are getting a lot closer, so I don't see the harm in inviting him into my bed for a bit of a special cuddle. And dry humping's classy, right? It takes one smile, one smile. Give me some of that, give me some of that, give me some of that. Kyle's come back from the dance floor with a girl. Are you having a fucking laugh? Yeah, no, that's like, mate, like, that's like, mate. I that. Mate, mate my fucking ass. Keep cool, Holly, keep cool. These girls are pure mint. I'm just hoping I don't have to choose between them because there's plenty of me to go around. With nobody. I see two wicked blonde birds, and it's not that I want to pull, but I might as well go over and talk to them. That'll teach Charlotte not to play games. Scott comes steaming in and starts squaring up to us. I was just talking to them. What a fucking prick! Not only has Gary fucked Scott over, he's also tried to pull another girl. We're fucking through, and I feel fucking free because of it. It's all gone tits up. I need to say goodbye to my friend and go and sort out the drama. Kyle's walking his friend out, and he gives her a goodbye kiss, and then another kiss, and then another fucking kiss. What the fuck are you taking the piss? She lent in, I went bye, kissed her on it. Set me on the lips and she fucked off. That was it. Are you kidding us? Are you fucking kidding us? I cannot believe I've been accused of necking on with a lass when all I did was kiss me mate goodbye. Forget it. I didn't want anything. Forget it, forget it. Right. Birds, no birds, blonde birds, fucking brunette birds, nothing happened, right? Listen, let's pretend, listen. It didn't happen, right? Listen, didn't happen. Kiss a fucking cuddle. Fuck all these arguments. I reckon we should all have a house sweeping on the sofa and just have one big fucking cuddle. Holly needs to realise what I'm giving up for. I feel as though because I'm not having sex with you, like, I feel as though you think I don't like you because of that. When really it's the complete opposite. What's confusing is Holly's telling us she's not sleeping with us because she likes us, and I've never had that before. It's really difficult to handle. I'm literally wearing my heart on my sleeve for you. I didn't want to like you. I never wanted this. This is so shit. I really, really like Kyle, and I feel as though I'm losing him. I don't know how long I'm going to fucking wait for you, though, Holly. How, how long am I going to wait for you? 